You know, when you're 32 years old, you know, you, you haven't quite checked your ego at the door yet. So he offered me the job. I said, well, Dick, let me think about it. We played an exhibition game <clears throat> against the Philadelphia Warriors in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And I saw Will Chamberlain for the first time, who's also in the Hall of Fame. When I saw him, he was a very imposing figure. I said, this guy probably can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Then I saw him play. When the game ended, I was Dick's assistant coach. <laughs> oh, yeah. You were with the Pistons, what, seven years as a player? No, two years as a player. Two years seven as a Seven years as assistant coach. Okay, seven years as assistant. Now, I read someplace that you decided to take the assistant coach job and stop playing because of seeing Wilt Chamberlain? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, that, that, that's true. I, I announced that at the Hall of Fame. I said, you know, you're 32 years old, which is, you know, by the day's standards, is not real old. And I wasn't quite ready to, 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 you know, to check my ego at the door. So Dick McGuire, who's you know, a teammate of mine and another class act, you know, he'll he be a topic of another subject. Uh, he said, Earl, the job is yours. I said, well, let me, I went through training camp. And I was just, I was training like I was going to play exhibition season. So about the fourth exhibition game, we played Philadelphia in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I saw Will for the first time. I said, hey, it's time to go. <laughs> hey, I said, it's time. I, I, I told him, I said, you know what, man, you did me a great favor. He said, what did I do? I said, you know, you, you took a, 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 a hand wringing and gut wrenching decision and made it a no brainer. <laughs> it's time. You know. Wilt was just in a whole other category or something? I mean, he was just so... Hey, let me tell you what, it's, when you saw him, I mean, it's just, I mean, he's just a total disruptive force, you know, and he's dunking balls, you know, he's dunking so hard that you, you, you go down the floor, back and down the floor four or five times, the basket's still shaking, you know. Now, it, it was time.